Okay, point it down just a little bit. There you go, that's good. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and pull the trigger. I'm ready. Ah! Wow! <laughs> Super foul! Yeah. I wanted to show you this CO2 cartridge gun that I made when I was a teenager. This stock was broken and my dad couldn't bear to throw it out, so he gave it to me to do with whatever I wanted, and this is what came of it. So I made this gun about 20 years ago, and let me show you how it works. This barrel is made out of PVC conduit pipe, and it happens to be just the right size for a standard 12 gram CO2 cartridge to fit in there, right down the barrel, pretty snug. This is a spent cartridge, by the way. Okay, so this black thing is the grommet from a commercial door. These are normally used to keep the door from slamming into the door frame, but I fit it into a hole in here so that I can put a CO2 cartridge uh, here in the breech and aim down, and the CO2 cartridge will not fall out the barrel. It won't just dump out the front. Okay, there's the bolt. The action in the gun is pretty simple. Just an eye screw with uh, a spring and a chain connected to the trigger. The trigger is made out of aluminum. It's just a right angle and then a little hook at the front of that that hooks onto uh, the bolt. Works pretty well. Let me take apart the bolt and show you what's in the bolt. It's just held in with these two screws, sort of homemade set screws, slotted screws. The original bolt, when I first made it, I, since I didn't have access to machine tools, it was made out of cast epoxy, that gray plumber's epoxy, the two part that you need between your fingers, and then it hardens. I cast that into a PVC pipe and then forced it out with a dowel rod or something and then, uh, you know, sawed it and drilled it, put the features in it that it needed to have. Years later, just a couple of years ago, um, I decided to make this gun work a little bit better, so on the lathe I turned some actual parts. So this is the stop, this is the new firing pin, and this is the, I don't know, cylinder, plug, piston, whatever you want to call it, hammer. Um, in the original design, this was a piece of epoxy, and there was just a nail um, drilled into a hole in it. We have some springs in here. The original springs actually came from toilet paper holders that hold the toilet paper in the bathroom. I took three of them from my house and my mom got really mad and made me go to the hardware store and get actual springs for the thing. So no more toilet paper tubes. Uh, but yeah, those just fit in here. So this piece of wood keeps them separate. Another one goes in there. Let's see, it's pretty basic construction. See if I can keep this from shooting out of my hands and stabbing someone. That would be embarrassing. Let's see if I can get the screw threaded in even. being persnickety right now, of course. Okay. And there we go. Bolt is back together. Drag this one in just a little further. These are pieces of uh, conduit hanger, just steel conduit hanger with the edges bent down and bolted into the stock. The trigger is just suspended on an 832 screw that's driven all the way through the stock. That goes on there. You can see the trigger hooks on so the firing pin is staying in place. Push that forward. It's just a friction fit here into the breech. Take aim. Pull the trigger. And it goes a couple, at least 100 feet. I mean, it really shoots out there. So it's pretty fun. Anyway, misspent youth. 20 years ago. Downer. Okay, go ahead and pull the trigger. Wow, good one. There you go, perfect. Now pull the trigger. Wow. You hit the tree. Good, good. one, buddy. Good hit. Yeah.